मेरे चैनल में आपका सभी का स्वागत है टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट दी प्रिंसिपल प्लेन्स सो द प्रिंसिपल प्लेन्स आर यूज इन द प्रोजेक्शन सो प्रोजेक्शन इज व्हाट व्हेन द ऑब्जर्वर इज लुकिंग फ्रॉम वन साइड इट्स इमेज इज क्रिएटेड ऑन इट्स बैक साइड सो दैट इमेज इज क्रिएटेड और वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दैट इमेज और दैट व्यू वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ ऑन द प्रिंसिपल प्लेन so there are three types of actual planes are there first plane is the horizontal plane this is the hp that is horizontal plane this is the vertical plane this is the vp and one more plane is there this is called as a pp that is the profile plane the horizontal plane means the plane which is parallel to the ground the plane which is parallel to the ground is known as a hp so if you observe in this figure this entire is known as hp this much portion entire is known as a hp that is horizontal plane the horizontal plane is also known as a hrp horizontal reference plane one more plane is there that is this is the vp the plane which is perpendicular to the ground this is the plane which is perpendicular to the ground it is perpendicular to the ground as well as it is perpendicular to the hp also this plane is perpendicular to the ground as well as the hp also this plane is known as a vp that is vertical plane this vertical plane vp is also known as a frp frp means frontal reference plane now third one plane is there that is the pp the profile plane the profile plane is the plane which is perpendicular to vp as well as the hp this is the plane which is perpendicular to vp as well as the hp this plane known as a pp that is the profile plane and the intersection line between this plane see intersection line horizontal intersection line between this plane is known as a xy and the vertical intersection intersecting line is known as a x1 y1 and this xy and x1 y1 intersect at the point that uh, that point is known as a o point so these are this is the principle these are the various planes so these planes are going to we are going to use to draw the front view top view and side now i will show the planes this is the model that i have prepared so see this is the plane this plane is horizontal plane this plane is known as a horizontal plane hp this is known as a hp this is a horizontal plane this plane is parallel to the ground so that's why it is known as a hp horizontal plane now this is the second one plane this plane is perpendicular to the ground as well as it is perpendicular to here it is perpendicular to hp also so this is known as a vp that is vertical plane this plane is known as a vertical plane now one more plane is there this plane is called as a pp profile plane now this plane is perpendicular to hp as well as vp hp as well as vp so like this this planes so we are just talking right now we are just talking about the hp and vp okay now this hp and vp the, there are three four quadrants are there this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so like this four quadrants are generated because of the hp and vp because of hp and vp there are four quadrants are there first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so if suppose the point lies above hp and in front of pp so the observer see the camera is the observer so camera is the observer and the object is here suppose the object is here lies here so what is the position of this object this object is above hp suppose here there is an object then object is above hp and in front of pp so in the first quadrant jo bhi koi object first quadrant mein hota hai wo kya rehta hai it is above hp and in front of pp if suppose the object lies behind this in the second quadrant suppose the object is here so it means what the object is above hp if object is here and the observer is from this side so above hp behind vp above hp and behind vp if so the object is in the third quadrant it means what the object is below hp if object is here in the third quadrant then object is below hp the observer is from this side so it is behind vp below hp behind vp and if suppose the object is in the fourth quadrant 
then it will be below HP and in front of VP. Below HP and in front of VP. Right. So now this is a uh, that is three dimension figure, 3D figure. Because it is a length, width, and height. All the dimensions are there. Because profile plane is there, VP vertical plane is there, and horizontal plane is there. So what is the use of these planes? If suppose object lies here, the object lies here, and the observer is looking from this side. Observer is looking from your side, and the object is here. So its front view. We are going to draw its front view on the VP. We are going to draw its front view on the VP. VP पे हमें क्या करना है उसका drawing बनाना है. If suppose object is here and the front view we are going to draw in the VP, then top view we are looking from top side and the object is here. In that case, we are going to draw the top view on HP. We are going to draw the top view on HP. The object is here, looking from top side. The views we are going to draw on the HP. The object is here, looking from this side. Then we are going to draw its front view on the VP. Now the object is here. And if we want to draw the side view, so we are looking from this side. When we look from this side, its side view we are going to draw on PP. So object is here. We are going to draw the its side view on the PP. That is the profile plane. So like this, we are going to draw the front view on VP. We will draw the top view on HP. We will draw the side view on PP. So this is the plane system. That is HP, VP, and profile plane. So this is a three three D figure because front view is here, top view is here, and side view is here. Now how it is converted to the two D figure? So see in that case what we are going to do, we are going to rotate this HP. See top view is here on the HP top view. On the VP there is a front view, and on the VP there is a side view. So when we draw the top view here, front view here, and side view here, and we want to convert this into two D figure. In that case we are going to rotate this HP. By 90 degree, we are going to rotate this HP by 90 degree in clockwise direction. In this direction, so I rotate it like this. Now, see the front view will be here. The front view will be above the XY line. This is the XY line, as I told you. This is the XY line, right? So this is the XY line. So front view we are going to draw here on the VP. We are going to draw front view here in this VP. So front view will be here. We are going to draw the top view on the HP. See. We are going to draw the top view in this HP. So here it will be top view, and we are going to draw the side view in this PP. On this PP, so this PP is also rotated by 90 degree in clockwise direction like this. So the front view will be here, top view in the HP, this side, and side view will be on this side. Now this is the XY line. This is the horizontal XY line. See this? This is the horizontal XY line. This is the vertical XY line. And this is the O point. This is the O point. That is the intersection of horizontal and vertical axis. So front view, top view, and side view. So we are going to draw like this. Now, see here there is an object, and we are looking from this side. So this side is your left side. So we are going to draw the left side view on this. So here, whatever the side view we are going to draw, that is the LHSV, left hand side view. So this is the front view, top view, and left hand side view. So these are the various planes which are used to draw the various views of an object. And this is mostly used in the multi-view projection. This is mostly this is used in the multi-view projection. Okay, you get this all these points in the next lecture. We are going to see about the what is first angle method and what is the third angle method. So uh, if you have any doubt about this. Please do comment to me and if you like this video, click on like button and subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.